Today we're comparing Chop AI versus Opus Clip. So both of these tools are super popular right now and what they do is they turn your long form videos into short form vertical reels. What I'm gonna do is just jump right into the tools. I'm gonna show you what I like about the tools, the pros, and then also the cons of what I don't like about the tools. So let's get into it. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna jump right into the tool. I'm a normal real person. This isn't some like AI avatar or anything like a lot of the videos out there. And I'm just a normal video geek. So this is Chop AI. And Chop AI and Opus Clip have kind of a similar feel to them. And all you have to do is kind of just find a video link and then paste it into the tools here. So you copy the link and then you paste it here and then same with Chop AI, you paste the link here. So what I went and did is I went to the one of the biggest podcasts on the planet right now, The Diary of a CEO. And what I did was I copied the links, the link URL of a couple of videos and then I threw them in there. And all you do is kind of just paste the link in here and then it kind of walks you through it. I can show you a quick example here. Which all you do is find the URL here, copy that and then throw it into the tools. And then it's going to ask you some settings in which you want to shape and change kind of like for chop AI, it asks you how many speakers you have and what the category is. If you want to add music or punch zooms and then Opus clip has kind of a similar feel to it. Right. And if you do this, it'll ask you like what type of platform you like, what type of length are your videos, what type of presets you want, like the styling of the captions, or if you don't want captions at all. Both of them are very similar like this. And what I did was I literally just took a couple of the videos from here and I threw them in there and I figured we'll take a look at the result. All right, so first let's look at Opus Clip. So it made us a bunch of clips, which is really cool. And let's just have a listen at some of, uh, at some of these clips here. I'm gonna turn up the volume. You mentioned that you've looked at lots of brains of people that have Alzheimer's. Uh, bit of a dumb question, but what is the difference between Alzheimer's and dementia? Or is it the same thing? Yeah, no, it's a great question. So these are pretty good, right? Some of the clips and it kind of depends on like the context. You know, I've noticed that what Opus Clip does is it just takes the script. It, it'll just take like sections of the video and then it'll just kind of clip it up, which would actually be pretty easy to do in video editing. And I think that's kind of the one of the bigger issues, you know, like the pros are with Opus Clip is that you get tons of videos but the context is kind of missing. And a lot of people have had complaints with that with Opus Clip because what it'll do is it'll make clips that are just like randomness. And when a random person is scrolling and they see it, it's just like some, some things just don't make sense. So let's just keep watching a couple of these. Well, alcohol can damage your brain and alcohol damages it in entirely different ways than Alzheimer's. See, this is just a small section of it here and how it depend, how it finds that this like 12 second clip or 15 second clip nobody knows and it's kind of just doing its best to find sections of it right like this one's a minute 30 this one's a minute long this one is 18 seconds long um it kind of just does its best and that we kind of don't know what it's doing but it does it pretty well right let's have a listen to this one ah uh, okay and how do i see like that the context of this clip he just said ah okay like what if we're just scrolling and we see this, that's going to be a problem. And that's what's happening here. So let's refresh this. I would just want to have a listen to this again. Ah, uh, okay. And how do I avoid... See, like, that would be a problem if, I, if I'm watching Reels. This Reel's not going to do well because it's missing context. So I would say that's kind of the cons is that sometimes context is just totally missing with Opus Clip. So let's go and talk... Let's Or let's go and take a look at Chop AI now. So if we go to the dashboard here, it's really easy to find the videos. I did this one here. She's like a mortgage specialist and she talks about people buying houses. It was titled, they're lying to you about buying a house, right? And let's have a listen to some of these clips. A lot of our view about buying a house is actually formed from what we saw our parents do. They came to the UK. Okay, so immediately I'm seeing a difference here. So Chop AI is actually piecing together the script and it's m like mixing and matching sections of the script to kind of place it together and I'm guessing it's using AI to do this to get better retention, to get better hooks and, and engagement and stuff, which I really like this. There's not, a, there's not a lot of tools doing this right now. So like, if this is good, I feel like this could be a complete game changer. Let's have a listen to this one. Everything is trying to pull you away from your money. You earned this. So it's coming harder and harder. I followed society's version of money. And okay, so it's doing the same thing. And it's it, it has better punchlines, it has music. Like, I really kind of like this. Like. Let's have a listen to this one. Is there a step one in taking back control? The very first thing, number one, 
that I'll say to do is build a peace of mind fund. Go through the last 30 days. So it's, it, I mean, it's jumping around. These reels are actually more fun to watch and they're, they're, you know, and I will say that I've actually been testing these Chop AI clips versus the, the Opus clip ones. And the Chop AI ones are doing better. And you also have to think about it for, um, you know, I, I'm a social media nerd. And a lot of times when you just, when you edit a video directly, a snippet from a video that's already published, it doesn't do as well even on short form versus long form. So when, what they're actually doing here at Chop AI, they're making completely new clips. And I'm seeing a lot more traffic because of this. Like this is huge, guys. And again, if at any point you want to check out Chop AI or Opus Clip, I'll throw links down below. I'm an, I like this new Chop AI feed, like this tool is blowing my mind. I'm getting excited even talking about it because they've been, we've been waiting for AI video editing like this and it's finally like starting to come. Opus Clip's been around forever, but I feel like something new needs to happen because my, my, I don't know about you guys, but my views on Opus Clip clips, the reels just aren't doing well. I don't, and what's cool is these, Chop AI ones are. So let's have another listen to here. The vast majority of people just have this sort of avoidant relationship with their financial situation, yeah. with financial literacy, with their bills, with their bank statements. So there's even a terminology for this and it's called the uh, ostrich effect. People will... Yeah, see like this is a totally new clip because it's editing sections. So if I had to, if I had to go in here and pay a video editor to kind of like piece all this together, it's gonna take tons of time. And now AI is doing this for us I feel like I need to be screaming to the world here because this is a game changer, guys. Chop AI is my new favorite real AI video editing real machine. I'm pumping all content with it. We're using it. I'm like low key not even wanting to tell people about this because with as fast as Opus Clip blowing up and like how it just doesn't even work that great, the same tool is like, it works great. And I, I don't know, guys, just try it out. I'll throw a link in the description, Chop AI. This has been my breakdown comparison of Chop AI versus Opus Clip. Honestly, I think low key it's gonna be the Opus Clip killer. I didn't say that, but we'll see. Let me know in the comments, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.